Hello, welcome back to Ratropolis. Uh, we're just gonna do a normal merchant run. I know it's gonna feel real weird, right? But there's merchant on the coast, right? If I remember correctly. I think I'm basically just in a situation where I play uh, leader plus in the morning on a map and then hard mode at night on the next map in the rotation. Oh, we are open. How you doing tonight? How's it going? Good to see you. Back again. It is Tuesday, right? Tuesday for you, Monday for me. I gotta pause one second here. I did not organize my desk properly. Drink is too far away. There we go. Now we're good. Monday afternoon still. I did take a little break between the last episode and this episode to eat something at a pot pie. A little frozen chicken parmesan pot pie. Pretty good. Pretty good food, I would say. The only thing I don't like is got so it's got chicken, great, like a parmesanish sauce, very nice. Carrots, fine. Red peppers, hell yeah. And then it's got a bunch of broccoli in it, and I'm like, ugh. And don't get me wrong, right? That ugh is not an ugh of I cannot stand the taste of broccoli. Right? I'm fine with broccoli. I like broccoli. Give me a little rice broccoli and something. I'm there. Hell yeah. But. Oh yeah, you can take other cards. Oh weird, I'm gonna take the house. The problem is not the broccoli, it's that- so these- these pot pies, they're frozen- frozen meals, as you would expect. Very easy to make, just pop them in the microwave for 10 minutes, let them sit for 5 minutes, complete cooking. Very nice. But, I'm gonna take the colony. Here's- here's the- here's the- here's the catch. The catch is... It's not, like, high-quality broccoli, it's just a bunch of broccoli stalks. And I don't know about you, but I think that broccoli stalks are disgusting. Broccoli florets? Hell yeah, I'm there. Broccoli stalks? Oh, no. No, thank you. The game is a quiet- oh, the game is a little quiet because um, two runs ago I had those berserkers that were very loud. Let me turn that up a little bit. Entire last episode was a little quiet, but we're gonna turn it up to about there. This is comfortable. For me. Yeah. Broccoli stalks though, I just I cannot stand it. I don't like that taste. I don't know what it is. It's very it's very not for me. But I tell people this and they go, What's wrong with you? The stalks are the best part of the broccoli, and I go, What's wrong with you? Oh no. We got greedy. Huh. Oh, well, that's interesting. Maybe we'll get Renaissance. Oh no, wait a minute. Maybe not. I can drink here. My throat's been hurting me lately. I don't know why. I've been I haven't been going too hard on the recording. I've actually toned it down a little bit, so I don't know what's going on there. But you know, it's fine. We persevere. I took a little break for two reasons, right? One of them was my throat was is feeling a little sore. Sore? Not really. Dry? I don't know. I don't know what the correct word is here. My throat has been feeling some sort of way. We got the colony going here. I... I'm trying- I'm shifting my focus in these runs to doing things that I wouldn't normally do. Like, I don't think that taking colony on the first wave is good. However, uh, it's interesting, right? Because what if- what if we, we- we could get this to pop off and then we could have massive amounts of tax and that would be cool. So I'm aiming for that here. But we're still making our removal plays, you know, standard stuff. I picked up one of the two options. I feel like my eyes have opened to the secret strategy to winning on hard mode, which is basically... Alongside guards and militia, you want to take either pike rat or slinger. And then replace Militia with a better frontline, and then eventually replace Pike Rat or Slinger with a better, like a midline preferably. Crossbow, Musketeer, etc, etc. Rough work. Rough work I have to click so much. I just don't like it. I wish that card gave more gold. I don't think I want anything here. The restaurant's not terrible, but I'm gonna go for the refresh. Mmm, Medic. We are on this map. Yeah, we can take Medic here. We're on this map, the coast, which is the only situation where I would take the medic, because there's no AoE. This guy's just going to be a bunch of health. Pretty cool, actually. I like that. 
think it's pretty good. And I think I will grab this barn. Not terrible, not great. I feel like I haven't seen any tanneries in a while. Could be wrong about that. Is grain still worth playing? Nah, I don't think so. I think I'll be removing grain next, and then... We're actually looking alright here, I would say. I don't think it's too bad. But yeah, all in all, pretty, pretty standard day. Uh, I did, I am, I'm not having a soda today, if you're keeping up with that saga. I am having green tea today, switching it up, you know. I didn't have any cold soda for myself ready to go, but I decided I would just have, look at how much that guy tanked, holy moly. I decided I would just have a glass of green tea today. I'm just going to have one, I'm not going to go too hard on it. You know, the problem was just that I was having like four big glasses a day and then I went, oh wait, this is too much, isn't it? It is. Uh, I don't want either of these. Because uh, here's the thing, right? We take the building card, imagine we get a bad building card, imagine we land. Ah, eh, you know what, it could be fine. Totem, eh, okay. The bad building card would be something like university there, I think. We got this colony upgraded though, so it's gonna get there. We would like to get a, an altar in here, or maybe, maybe festival, but I don't know about that. What I do know is, I think we're okay, right? The medic is gonna do a lot. These guys are tanking big money on the shield rats. Uh, get another medic in here. We're, about, we're not, we haven't won yet, but like this is not the, the deck that I will win this game with, but it's a start. Thing. Military budget? No way. A second here, I need to clear my throat. There we go. I think I take the house. Right. Alternatively, I remove grain, but... Actually, yeah, I'm gonna remove grain. I think with it, we are okay to take aggressive removal since I took a bunch of military cards and we have quality here over quantity which is maybe not great but i'm gonna give it a shot we're gonna see if this is the correct move hey a tax office all right we're looking okay here actually i think we have the basis of an okay economy right we got the colony we got the tax office we got greedy which is surprisingly somewhat valuable here. I just need to survive, right? We're very low income right now. If we if we live to the next wave... If, if we live to the, the next waves, I think it might be okay. Although I didn't take an, a wall on the left side there. Mm -hmm. Give me an economy advisor. Undertaker. I think the economy advisors are so underwhelming. And taking a wall on the left side though, so if we're against weasel barrels, it could be a problem. That's what I was talking about though with the random building, right? What if I get a building that's just unplayable because it's too expensive? I thought we were going to be okay with Totem, however, Totem is being too expensive. Hmm. Might not be okay, this might be death. I'm not sure. It's close. I think we are dead actually. Interesting. Hmm. Eh, maybe not. I can get the totem down and maybe it's okay. Because right, totem makes it so that these spitters don't one-shot guards anymore, which is a nice little change. With the medic, too. Huh. Interesting. 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 Uh, how are you guys doing over here? Alive for now. What are we doing on the left side? Alive for now. Squire? No way. I probably will never take Squire. I think, I think this wave kills me. Let's, let's try this. All right, this is just, we have no damage output. I think, it's, it's so close, right? It's like, it's so close. Kind of crazy. Hey, it looks like we actually are fine. Wow. Four medics, just four medics in the totem. How about that? We're alive. Despite how it looked. Uh, can I stop these guys from stacking? No, I can with this move, actually. It's okay. Uh, labor effects are faster with colony. Might be a good pickup. Alternatively, I'm going to upgrade gather. Now, I'll take the I'll take the worker here. 25% off is like 30 seconds, right? 
Yeah, that's a lot. All right. Uh, interesting start. Interesting start. I need to grab a wall from this merchant. Oh, well, exile. That's not the new one. I thought I would take the new one. Anyway. The real kicker on this run, the thing that's holding me back, is my low population. I took a lot of... Non... I took a lot of non-population answers, right? I took... I took a lot of removals, basically, to thin the deck out. And that's, that's a side effect of taking all of these cards, right? To do this, I had to remove a lot of cards to stay at a 7-card setup, which is not optimal, but it's okay. I just need these medics to keep my shield rats alive while we wait for some houses. And I, I, need, I need a few houses now. Because also four of my population is set, spent on colony. Like that for like an apartment, basically, is the only thing I could even imagine taking there. Uh, and we lose four tax. Colony's starting to amp up. But yeah, I'm trying out some new stuff instead of just going with the with the usual. But I feel like the usual is oh god, it's Lisa Barrels. Oh god, that's unfortunate, buddy. You gotta run. What are you doing? Okay, so we're gonna wanna get either Musketeer or a Crossbow to help this out, I think. We have Pike Rat, thankfully, which means I'm not just gonna die straight up to this upcoming wave, I imagine. It does kind of feel like there's no reason to keep guards in this, though. They're just going to... Uh, mm, I do... Mm, I don't know. Colony in here. I think this side should be okay. Because realistically, this boss, he does not do a lot of damage. His big shtick is all of the defense that he has, plus the fact that he just invades. He doesn't really do that much in terms of threatening amounts of damage, though. So I'm not so afraid, right? We got these five, I think that these five medics should keep it alive for now. We got, of course, the upcoming next half of the wave to contend with here, but... Once again, it's close. I must say, it is close. I'm stacking up way too many medics, so though. Let these guys get thinned out a little bit. Five guards? Okay, that side has to look for that. And also, I forgot to repair the left wall. A lot. Hmm. Alright. I mean, it's not good, but it's alright. Problem is gonna be when this side takes a big hit here. Give me, give me a duckling rider. No, this is all good. Think we upgrade on shield rat. Right? I think we upgrade on shield right here. Try and recover from this position. It's just population. Like it's a hundred percent my population. And this is this is the side effect of taking something like colony on the first wave, right? You have no real population built up. Ah, treasure hunter. There it is. If I can live long enough to get a few treasure hunters going, I think we're okay. That's a big if, though, from this position, I will admit. I need to have some of these pike rats die off. Also, this wave is taking too long to die in the way. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a problem. Because now these guys just walk right through. Hmm. Guys, you're gonna need to turn around here. Uh, Alright. This is a classic death on this map, right? And the only way to really go differently about this... I mean, first of all, my treasure hunter is just not fighting. Now we're dead. This is fine. Uh, this is an acceptable loss. This is one of those losses that uh, you take as a learning experience. The learning experience here is don't take shit on the first wave that you can't take. Yeah, no, no shit. You, got, you don't get to do fun stuff on the first wave. You get to do fun stuff in the last ten waves. You gotta play the early game like clockwork. It's the same shit every time. That's how it is. It is what it is. I'm not too worried about it, right? Colony, it has the chance to be 
good there. But I think you need to take more population, but then if I take more population, I'm playing less units out, and it's a whole thing. I don't know. There's, like, there's a middle ground you can maybe take there. Take less card removal, take an extra house or two, and maybe we find ourselves with a victory, but it doesn't matter. I, until they put in a win streak counter, I'm not going to stress the wins too much. I'm just going to play, basically. What do I got planned for today? I'll tell you, since I have my days planned out, I can tell you what my day is going to look like. After this, I go record some Stone Shard. I'll finish Stone Shard. It'll probably be about 5.15. I'm going to put on Critical Role and start working on some HTML and finish a few, probably, hopefully knock out a few of these projects that they have laid out for, before me for web design. I'm just, I'm struggling with some of the basics, as I've mentioned, but I will get there. And now, the thing is, now I'm starting to feel that second guessing of myself. It's like, oh, do I even really want to learn HTML? I'm like, I'm like halfway through, I'm, I'm like a fifth of the way through these lessons, right? I've finished the first, the first big chunk and now I'm on to the projects. And I'm starting to go like, well, do I even want to do HTML? Maybe I should just be learning something else. And I just feel like I should power through, more or less. I don't really know why I chose HTML here, but I did. And now I feel like I should just stick with it. But the other part of me is like, well, what if I just did one of these for like Python or something like that? Something that I feel like I know pretty well. I don't know. Maybe I should do that, because I feel like I know Python to a decent extent, right? One of the things... Oh, that's hand. When hand is empty, 50% reduce redraw cooldown. This, this is advice I used to think was really good. Now I realize he's not as good as I thought. Start taking out these cheese. I used to think, oh, what's the big deal? You just play out that last cheese, right? Nah. I should probably also have taken double house there, for sure. For sure, for sure. That's another change that I've been making that's probably problematic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that last one would have had better population, too, if I had taken two houses. That's fat boys. Okay. That's fine. But I... Maybe I will switch off of HTML. I don't know. I don't really have a passion for HTML. But, like, web design in general is just... It's tough, you know? It's... It's the design and the development aspect of it. Designing and making things look nice is not my forte. I like problem solving. I don't really like that aspect. I think that... Here's here's my hot take. I'm, we're trying something crazy here. I think you take the military card. Ah, you know? I, I didn't even finish my reasoning there. Here's my reasoning. Trying to think of what the best way to phrase this reasoning is. I'm, there's like, what, 26 units in this game? 26 military units? And there's only really one that is worse than what we currently have? I'll let you take your guess at which one is the worst. However, this is kind of exciting as well, if you ask me. Because... I'm gonna play fucking Exiled, dude. How long has it been? It's been a very long time. <laughs> Gotta play him before he goes away, right? Do I think Exiled is good? Well, goodbye, Exiled. <laughs> Alright. No, I don't think Exiled is good. What I was gonna do is you can hold Exiled down on- You can have like five or six Exiled to hold the right side for a pretty long time. While you build up on the left side, or vice versa. However, if you're just going to give me an advisor for that, and a pretty good one at that, I'm not going to complain. And now we're in a much more reasonable position. This is my official opinion about Retropolis hard mode is, in terms of getting yourself consistent victories, you have to get to this point. I think you want to be at this point within the first five waves, and then from there, you can start to branch out and try new stuff. Trying new stuff before this point is just a recipe for falling behind and dying. Realistically, that exile is still going to be pretty good. Graveyard, take the wall, take the barn. But we're going to make pretty good money. We're going to be able to add in and remove cards as we see fit. Because here's, here's the position now, right? At the end of this wave, I will be offered at least one of the following three. I will be offered a card add, a house, or a card removal. And I can choose one of these, right? So card add, if I like one of these, is cool. And if not, we just take another house. We beef out the population. From this position, 
we either get good cards through add a card to your deck, or we remove some of the questionable things like grain, and we find ourselves in an alright position, I imagine. We shall see. I wonder if this wave always comes with two runners, or does it sometimes have spitters on it? I feel like it's always two runners, but I don't really remember. Runners, when you have a big guard stack, aren't that big of a deal when it's just two or three of them. I don't wish I had exiled here, what the hell? You ever have a run where you go, man, I wish I didn't remove that exiled? Yeah, me neither. Mm. Musketeer is probably the pickup here. And just a nice, simple musketeer. So we found, we've definitely found the best use for Exiled now. I can tell you with certainty, I found the best use for Exiled. You remove him and get Dancer. Much better use. It's a shame, I've, I've always liked Exiled as a card concept. Just imagine, here's, what would I do to, uh, to make Exiled better? Uh, I would give him like, probably, oh, why would I play that? like 50 more health or something like that and then make his effect lower his health as well or you just make him a common card one of the two options but both of which would be fine because if exiled was a common card then you could use him in his best case which is in the early game where you can put down like four of them to hold waves right four exiles they have plenty of health plenty of attack to just crush everything medic i don't think i want medic here actually Ah, none of this. I don't think so. I think there's things you could do to make to rebalance Exiled. But for the most part he's probably just the worst. And I also think that the re the reworked version of him is also not very good, unfortunately. I think I'm just gonna let Musketeers tank instead of militia. Although, is there any reason to do that? Nah. Dude, just look at our look at our position here versus the last run though. We have 31 population and most of it's played out instead of struggling at 21 with a bunch of it in labors. I don't think you can get away with colony that early. Giving up four population is like taking investment early. You're not gonna make it. We got two musketeers. Okay, we can play out some others here. We want some more guards on this side. Also, I, I took a lot of risks, right? You you, you do a lot of do a lot of high roll stuff like that, like I did, and you will roll, and then things don't go well. It happens like that from time to time, and is fine. Armor knight. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. All right, so we have our army set up. Musketeer armor knight is our long term. Salvage, I love, but I'll just take a house because I can't afford salvage. Leader plus mode has really changed my perspective on a lot of things, right? Don't ask me like what, I don't want to answer that. Also, uh, I do not even remember what these cards used to look like, unless this is the old design. Is this the old design? <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I have no idea. No, I, I think Leader Plus has changed my opinion, mostly just because of how those runs, I feel like, go best when you just take whatever military units you're given early on. Basically, anything is better than Militia. Commander. Commander doesn't make much of a difference here. Yeah, we have eight cards. An upgrade Gather. But upgrade Musketeer. I think I will upgrade Musketeer. He's gonna. We're just gonna hold it down. This one is nothing. Nothing too crazy happening on this one. It's just Musketeer with something to tank for Musketeer. Nothing. Nothing too wild on this run. But that's fine. Until the new cards hit, I expect a lot of the runs are gonna feel similar to this, right? I mean, I've played like what 130 something episodes of this now. I'm running out of military cards to try out. I've done my two runs of Bandit and gone, yeah, this fucking sucks. I've done my... What do you want here? You want a restaurant, maybe? Mm, maybe. I've done my testing with Slinger and Pikrat, and I think I understand the use of them. One card we really haven't tried extensively is Exiled on here. I'm gonna tell you, it goes the same way you would expect. Poorly. Let's take this. 
thing is I'm not taking anything else here, but it's all right. But if I bought Gather, you know, I'm gonna buy Gather, I'm gonna add it in. My reasoning is basically just, I have Barn, so I'm also using Potter, so it essentially increases my hand size by one, even though it's a dead card. Like, it doesn't do anything when it increases it by one, it still is plus one card. Give it a go. Yeah, we'll see. These, these guys really have less health than the Fat Boys on the first wave, that's interesting. Because Musketeers don't one-shot Fat Boys, but they one-shot these Weasels. I guess everything except for the Desert Weasels have less health, huh? Think they have more on the Desert? Get rid of Militia here. Not so bad. 7-2-2-1-1-1-4, oh man. This side, I need this X out to die. Although he's doing all right in terms of being a frontline unit, I guess. He's doing his job. I'm excited for Leader Plus just to give me new cards and also kind of define archetypes for me. I cannot afford the egg. I just, I don't think that these, the Squire or the egg are worth it. Hey, no barrels, but it wouldn't have mattered. Barrels would have actually been preferable here, I think to anything else, just because barrels would be pretty easy to deal with. Although thinning out my guards there is pretty nice. And prism does not work on Musketeer. Does it doesn't work on Musketeer, right? He's considered not range. Or he's not considered melee. I, f I do I kind of feel like we've done every type of run in this game. I could be wrong about that. I'm trying to trying to think if there's anything I can imagine doing that we haven't done already. A lot of money. I guess in terms of like actual things you can do for achievements, I have not done a run based on... I mean, we did a run with going for the no range units achievement, except I didn't actually commit to it, of course. Is this death? You can't run because of harpoons. Musketeers? Uh, musketeers are fine. They have enough health to handle this. The the all melee unit run is much more difficult now, if you ask me, than it was when I did it. Shoot your shot, buddy. Give me a armor knight. Having having my population reset on that side's not bad, especially since I didn't take another wave. This is kind of the variance, right? If we took another wave on the left side, right after getting wiped like that, it might be not trouble. I would just have to. Rebuild a little bit faster. I have to spend some money. We got money a bit saved up though, so it's okay. <laughs> Armored Knight upgrade. The this purificate event's gonna be a problem now that I think about it. I almost think I shouldn't have taken it. Because if it lines up wrong, we're just going to die. I actually live. I think the secret here is just like station one Arbor Knight. I don't think I will do that, but. Oh, what if you put an exile back here? Wait a minute. Huh. So now I've cracked the code. You, you use exile to deal with weasel barrels. The secret strategy. Immigration seems fun. Basically paying one card removal for... Uh, well, not right now, of course, but one card removal for this is good. Are we Potter here? I definitely can't remove guards right now. I would normally, but because of Purificate, I think I need the guards. I can go remove Potter. See how much gold I really lose out on off of that. House. We're about to get a big population surge here. We're going to use this population surge on the left side, because the left side is the side that took all of the hit. Guards, though, are just kind of... Guards are a dream. They're not needed in this sort of a setup. They're just kind of here to slow down these guys a little bit. But uh, and also, I want guards to be ready to help with the purificate event when it comes up. But oh, this is not leader plus, of course. Fruit, fruit. Eh. Yeah, I like fruit. I think fruit is good. I also think fruit is good in real life. Although, I don't eat a ton of fruit, to be fair. <laughs> Oftentimes, 
uh, what's your favorite fruit comes up, and I go, eh, I don't know. Okay, we got two armored, six musketeers. We want one. Who's your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit. Oh man, that guy's dead. My favorite fruit is probably. I mean, it's, I'm gonna give you the boring answer. It's probably apples. I don't need a whole lot though. It's definitely not oranges. I'm not a big orange fan. I'm also not a big orange. Maybe, you know, a uh, fruit that I don't think of and I think no one ever an answers when we talk about this? Uh, grapes. Grapes are a strong choice for favorite fruit. I would say. Territory expansion here is good enough. Four pop- or eight population from that. I cannot- I'd upgrade guards. There's no reason to. Let's take extra money. Yeah, please drop in. Uh, totem? Nah. Graveyard? Graveyard number two is okay. Is it worth not refreshing for, though? I don't think so. Could take duck. That would be a guaranteed win. Think of other fruits in the game, and by in the game I mean in real life. One, two. Okay, we Please turn and shoot. Thank you. Other fruits that I enjoy is the real, the real kicker. There. Also, this might be very bad. Always the pro always the fear with this purificate take is this right here. You get your most important units harpooned into a big pile of plague rats. Can be problematic. I would say. This is what the guards are for though, hopefully. And then these guys just die off real quick. Uh, we're alright. Looks like these musketeers, they didn't all die and we got a good armored knight stack. Had to spend a little bit of the cash stack. Oh, also another set of- now another one of these on top of a wave. Now we're looking into trouble here. We're into trouble to the point that I'm gonna go ahead and just move this army to this wall. To be prepared for the inevitable end. Yeah, uh, Purificate dude, this event is killer. Like, it's really tough. That event is problematic. Thankfully we have Dancer to hopefully help hold this, but this is a disaster. When Purificate hits you like this, it's just not a good feeling. We have money saved up to hopefully help deal. So like, if, if we die on this side right now, it's over. Like, there's no, there's no recovery. That army has to hold. One of you has to turn and shoot this guy. How did he get stunned? Eh, we're just dead. And that's that's the danger. After I picked that event, I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have taken it, right? You heard me say it. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that. Maybe I should have just taken the three cards. That was the situation you take the three cards. But really, I just fucking... Man, the fucking purificate event. It's just such a high rolling mess. Because sometimes, sometimes the waves don't stack up at all, and it's like pure profit. And sometimes it literally kills you. Because these guys pop up with harpoons, and they just harpoon your musketeers into the middle of it all. And that, that's... This, this is a loss that I find frustrating. But you, you just gotta... Take Purificate cards there, I guess. Which really sucks. Like, that really sucks that you have to do that. But it's the only way to not die there, so... Oh well. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.